I've got the bumpers off and before I put them back on I want to get underneath and do some rust conversion and painting. My plan is to use Coro Seal as a base as a rust converter and then truck bed liner. Before I took the bumper off I sprayed a test area with some Coro Seal and this is how it came out with almost zero prep. Uh, it's a pretty good hard coating and I'm pretty happy with the results. Underneath we've got some surface rust and in places it's worse than others. But overall things aren't too bad underneath. I have come under the van and done three rounds of pressure washing. I've gone over a lot of these areas with a wire brush to knock off any r scale. So what's left here is just the stuff that's pretty well adhered. And so I'm going to come in tomorrow and I'm going to wipe things down a little with degreaser just to get any last surface dirt and contamination off. And then I'm going to spray Coro Seal over all these rusted areas. We'll let that cure for 24 hours and then we'll spray it with truck bed liner. So we took a pass over the van with Coro Seal. Uh, I used this sprayer, a uh, hand sprayer for application and it was tough to get an even application but let's take a look underneath. Here we are under the van and you can see there's still some rust showing in places so I'm going to do another shot of Coro Seal on those areas. Most of this is looking pretty good. So I did the last round of touch-ups underneath with the Coro Seal and I've gotten pretty good on all those spots that were not very well covered. And I'm actually out of Coro Seal. So I ordered a gallon of rust cutter. Saw some very favorable reviews in another YouTube for rust cutter. So we'll be trying that forward of the rear axle. Second coat of Coro Seal is on and cured. And I'm going to do some painting. I just did the first pass with the Rust Oleum bed liner. We'll go under the van and take a look. As you can see, I didn't do a perfect job. Uh, I'm not that good with a rattle can, but I've got pretty good coverage on all our surfaces. And I'm feeling pretty good about how this turned out. Now in front of the rear axle, I'm going to do rust cutter, and then we'll probably stick with the rust oleum for a top coat, and we'll see how that works out. Maybe we'll do a follow-up in a year.